Hi guys, my name is Hima. My name is Katie. My name is Milo Sheshko. And I'm a senior studying material science and engineering. Computer engineering with a double major in computer science. Biomedical engineering with a minor in mathematics. And I'm here today to tell you a little bit about my research experience. In the lab, I work on additive manufacturing and specifically direct write of multi-material composites of ceramics. Tailed working on a remote operated vehicle, or an ROV for short. The goal of our project was to make it navigate autonomously, that is, without the human assistance. I did a lot of programming, wiring, and I got to work with upperclassmen, grad students, and PhDs on the project. I work on the development of a polyelectrolyte complex. This is a biomaterial that can be used to prevent abdominal adhesions, which are a common post-surgical complication in most abdominal surgeries. Characterizing this biomaterial in terms of mechanical strength, degradation, porosity, I've even also started working with an animal model. So it's been a very comprehensive experience. I got my position at the lab by emailing the professor who was leading the project. I attached my resume and gave a quick blurb about what I knew about their project and how I wanted to learn more. He actually didn't answer, uh, which was a little scary, so I decided to go to his office. And we had a super great conversation and he offered me a position. And what you'll learn about professors at Rutgers is that if you have interest and you go to speak to them, most of them are more than willing to put you in a research position. One of my favorite moments from research was when, after a really long day of working in the lab, about five hours straight, I went back to my dorm and I sat down and looked over some of the code that I had written. And I had like a eureka moment where I realized what I was missing and what I, was do what I could do next to improve it. And all I can remember thinking was how excited and eager I was to go back the next day to work on the project at the lab again. I've been able to travel to conferences all across the country presenting the research I've performed. So most um, excitingly, I was able to go to Portland, Oregon, and it was such a great trip. And it helped me to gain my uh, past internship at Bechtel Corporation this past summer um, as an innovation engineer because I loved my 3D printing experience before even doing an internship. I actually went on to do a research internship in Shanghai, Jiaotong. University and this was an experience completely sponsored by Rutgers and I got to work in a genetics lab and I wouldn't have had that if I didn't start working in a research lab. If I have one piece of advice for students when it comes to applying for research at Rutgers or any opportunities at Rutgers is never sell yourself short. You're always qualified for something if you put the time and effort into it. Get your hands wet with research. I know it may not be what you want to do with the rest of your life but it is a a good starting step and it leads to other big potential things. Um, so really try to get yourself involved. If you have some professor you're thinking of working with, I just want you to know to not be scared to go up to them and tell them you're interested. Because you never know when someone is going to reply to that email or someone's going to pick up your resume and be impressed. 